we are the only rural school among the finalists, the only rural school. All the schools are large inner city schools or large suburban schools that serve a large student population. So the fact that this tiny school that serves 160 kids is among the finalists is remarkable. And part of the reason for that is not just the idea itself, but we want to be a pilot for all rural education. Yeah, you know, I think certainly at the end of the day, it's about creating the, the kind of programming that are going to help these students take that next step and surrounding them with the kind of resources that are going to help them feel like they, they are, they're just charged to go forward and accomplish great things. We feel like if we have dedicated pods around sustainability, creativity, construction, technology, and even an incubation uh, facility, which would be in some ways like a startup center where kids would learn business skills, have a chance to uh, build some of their own projects, actually develop some go-to-market strategies where they could build, say, skateboards, or maybe it's it's produce from from uh, the sustainability center that they now are going to take the local farmers market. But there would be opportunities for kids to not only make connections with specific careers, but also explore how to start their own business. So we're just one of a handful of of visions that that this this large group said, you know, this, this, this is where future, this is the future of education. This is what schools should be doing.